General Jing Yuen once told me that everyone has the potential to be my master. Not just Cloud Knight instructors, but also artists and outsiders. Actually, I was once convinced by Gwynaifen in the swallowing a sword. That's definitely not something you learn from regular practice. So, what do you think your odds are, March? Uh, maybe around 30 or 40 percent? deeper understanding of swordplay, and I'm more aware of my own strengths now. By the way, in those Immersia stories, the Swordmasters always hide their true strength before a decisive battle. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Hmm, from the test? I can tell that you still need some time to master your swordplay. But, you did pretty well. Milk tea is on me today. Oh, yeah! The progress report on the Nameless Girl's sword training is complete. What should I do now, Specialist Scott? Huh? Are you being sarcastic or something? I mean, don't I have other important tasks to do? It feels like a bit of a waste of time to keep tabs on some random girl's swordplay training. A waste of time? No! This is about safeguarding the reputation of the IPC and the honor of the Amber Lord. Are you saying that March 7th can actually take down an Arumaton from the Artisanship Commission with a sword? Come on, an Arumaton is no match for our state-of-the-art mechs! Go and strengthen our mechs even further! I refuse to believe that little sliver of metal can actually challenge our cutting-edge technology! But the armor's already pretty thick. No, it's not enough! Reinforce it more! If I lose face, it's like losing face for the IPC and the Ember Lord! Can we afford to let that happen? Understood. Today. I need time to absorb everything. Wonder what I'll run into today.
Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Recommend. Another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. Learn that? I guess I am pretty awesome after all. I'll fight ten. Uh, how should I go about this?
Before we start the test, there's something I need to tell you, Miss March. I've received a challenge letter from Scott. He's made thorough preparations, contacting the Realm Keeping Commission and getting approval for a martial arts exchange event. He even chose Arumali as the venue. Seems like he has some connections there. However, according to the rules, the person receiving the challenge letter has the right to... A declining would be like admitting defeat. Of course I'll accept it. But before that, you need to pass the final test. The graduation exam. Uh, I'm surprised too. Well, it's not really graduation. It's just that the opponent for this exam is your master, Yen Qing. When General Jing Yuan was teaching me swordplay, he used to personally spar with me during crucial moments to assess my skills. After all, the master should be the one who is most aware of their students' strengths and weaknesses. Uh, but, Master Yen Qing, facing you in a duel, do I really stand a chance? How will we ever find out if you don't even try? Are you only scared because I'm your opponent, Miss March? Unsheath your swords and get ready, Miss March. The duel starts now! The final test. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Come on, March 7th! You got this! Not bad. You've made it this far, Miss March. You've passed the exam. Oh! Ha! I told you compliments make me better! <laughs> With your sword blade skills, you can effortlessly take down IPC Max, March. Yeah, I'm pretty confident, too. But looking back, haven't you learned something more important than just swordplay? Yeah! I've not only learned swordplay from masters, but I've also met a bunch of people and gained a lot of insights from my experiences. Those experiences will nourish your sword skills. It's just like Master Yun Li said, everything can be a sword, and there are endless possibilities for learning swordplay in the vast world. That actually makes sense. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. Yeah, I'll show Scott the power of the Sienjo sword swordplay that he despises. I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. 
Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed of? Oh, yes, absolutely! The great hero within me is definitely up to the task. was a 